and we're winding down our um, modify panel here all of our wonderful tools so the next ones we're going to talk about is just our pin in and our and our unpin uh, which are really straightforward um, you pick on an object or two or three or as many objects as you want and what happens is then you say pin it basically pinning it you pin it and that's it it has a little pin and from there on in you cannot move it you can't do anything with it you can delete it as you can see so it'll give you a warning and say pinned objects deleted but that's about the only thing you can do to a, a pinned object if you try to move it or do something with it it won't let you let's pin this floor here we just say pin okay and that's it so if you try to move that you can't move it you can move this wall okay um, and you can you know edit this but if you try to take this what happens if you say oh look edit boundary not available okay you have to unpin it edit the boundary pick this pull it out click out save it and then you'd have to repin it again and now you cannot move it or edit it so anytime you have objects you do not want to move you pin them down usually grid lines are very much that way okay what I would do is I wonder if I can do them all at once go through here do a filter click in here say only the grid lines hit OK and watch pin boom that's it so if someone arbitrarily now tries to move a grid line or pick on here and change one of these numbers you won't be able to so pinning grid lines is a great idea okay south elevation um, pinning uh, level lines is also a very good idea okay go in here our little high rise we did with our copy and paste crossing box filter grab only the level lines always category for everything and guess what pin them done so if someone goes and tries to nudge that or the problem is sometimes you're in a cross section or something right someone's up on the fourth floor they're working away inside of here they go down they draw a cross section they click on here they open up their section and inside of this cross section they've got a call out you know down here and they're zoomed in on here and they might have the detail level turned up and for some reason they go in here and they click on this grid line and they try to move it guess what it's pinned okay if it's pinned it's pinned it's pinned in all views that's the way Revit goes if someone tries to move this level line it's pinned perhaps this wall you want to pin it well pin it so what you do is once you have objects that are not moving and you don't want them to move don't lock a dimension or try to constrain it just pin it that's it pin the object down and that's it it's uh, not allowed to be edited and then the opposite of course is to simply unpin it remove the pin and it's easy to do so I can go in here grab all these levels and simply you can either pick the pin which unpins it okay so if you pick on it and you pick the pin it unpins it or you can see that the, the pin disappears or you can pick on here and say unpin it so either way to to get the pin in you have to pin uh, you won't oh look it is there levels once now I'm wondering is it going to give it to me on this one? No, it's not. So it doesn't offer it on everything. See, there's no pin option there. You'd have to go up and pin it once. And then if I unpin it and click out, now if I go back again, funny, it's the pin shows up almost like for the next little while or until you move or something, and then it goes away. Not really sure what the reasoning for that is, but pin and unpin basically makes it so that you cannot move or modify the object okay you might be able to change its properties okay to a certain degree but once you pin it the idea is that you're not going to be editing it so a little bit of information on using the pin and unpin option